What's going on you guys? This is Ryan here again with a late video. I know, I'm sorry. This is going to be Team of the Week Tuesday, showing you this week's Team of the Week, which is the all-rookie team, uh, the other Seattle Seahawks. The only cards I would honestly care about uh, trying to stay away from. Uh, always definitely be careful about RG3 and his 94 speed. He'll actually start taking off on you, and that'll get pretty annoying. Uh, their running back is not very good. It's Marshall Falk. I think it's his rookie 92 overall card. Pretty sure that's what it is. Um, I don't think he had a Thanksgiving card or anything. So, yeah, it's definitely his rookie card. Only 89 speed, and his main thing that he'll do to you is sometimes he'll truck you. Just be glad it isn't Trent Richardson because he would be trucking you like crazy. Um, like I said, he's not very good in this card. He does have decent catching, but he's fairly easy to stop. Uh, and then another thing I would worry about is the Randy Moss. Make sure he's always covered uh, in man coverage or um, maybe even play a little bit of zone on him because he will screw you over sometimes on the all Madden game. Uh, John Mackey is the one player I would be most worried about. Uh, he definitely catches a lot of balls, and he does not drop anything. Um, be careful for him. Uh, their offensive line is pretty shitty. They got a Jake Long, Gene Upshaw, Ben Jones, uh, David DeCastro, and Mitchell Schwartz. So they're not very good at all. Just uh, make sure if you're running, or if they're running, uh, if they're running to the left side, they may get a decent couple yards, but make sure you stack your left side of the screen if they're in a run, uh, just in case, because they do have some pretty decent um, left tackles and left guards and stuff. Uh, their defensive ends are not very good. Uh, the Dwight Freeney is okay, but it's nothing like his Combine Warrior uh, version of the card. He's not going to screw you um, as much as you would think. He doesn't really have good block shedding, so if you have a good left tackle, uh, he will not be able to do anything on you at all. So make sure you're always blocking aggressive, and he will not be able to get to you. Uh, their defensive tackles are pretty garbage. Um, their linebackers, besides the Ray Lewis, let's see who else they have. It right. Okay, so they do. Oh yeah, that's right. They have the Luke Keekley, um, the defensive rookie of the year. Uh, that card, I would try to stay away from a little bit. Um, more more than likely though, you want to attack Dante Hightower if you're going to do the tight end streaks that I'm going to do and show you. Uh, the cornerbacks, um, do not throw to your receivers pretty much all game. Uh, once I show you my little secret that I do against the computer, um, especially against these guys, you'll know why. Uh, you do not want to throw near D'Angelo Hall at all. If you have to, throw to the left side against Ronnie Lott because it'll be way easier to um, beat him. And thankfully, Rod Woodson's playing free safety and not strong safety. This is his uh, rookie card, I think the 92 overall version. All these are, all the legends that you see. And then you have the Pat Tillman rookie card. Um, he's only 80 speed, and this is the guy we're going to attack, him and Hightower. So uh, if they do get in field goal range, too, they'll be able to hit 60-yard field goals with the Greg Zern line. And uh, my little strategy here is take your best receiver and put him at your tight end slot. So you see my tight end slot is Mike Wallace, and I'll show you why. So um, this is a farm name. This is not my regular team. And I'm sorry, I do not have time to actually get to the All Madden game and record the video to show you that. But this will work on All Pro, All Madden. Doesn't matter. Um, we'll go ahead and play defense first. And what I got, what I want you guys to do is start using the Bengals playbook on defense. I'm going to show you how to set up that blitz that you saw in my video. Uh, this is only going to work if they're passing the ball. If they're running to the left or the right, it'll shut them down completely. Um, let's see what they come out in. All right, so they're definitely going to run. I'll just go ahead and show you the play and show you how to set it up. You go to 4-3. What the hell happened? All right, so 4-3 over plus. Go to assault O blast. And what you're going to want to do is as soon as you see the play call happen, you want to press left, left on your D-pad, right, right on your D-pad. Re-blitz your two uh, defensive linemen there. Move your linebacker down and put this guy in a purple. So you move your linebacker down that's right next to Freeney right here on my screen. He'll be to the left side, though. And you'll move him down an inch. And right there you see them move to the, run to the left, which is their only weakness of this play. If they run to the right or if they pass, they're screwed. Um, you want to have a fast linebacker. Uh, that's why I have Freeney there to make up for the, uh, the time it'll take to get over there uh, to actually catch to the running back if they do something like that. Um, it was actually a good play by them. They definitely uh, had the the uh, brain to run to the left there. As you see right there, they ran to the right, and they got clobbered. So uh, we're not even going to accept this holding call. What I really want to do is get on offense real quick um, to show you guys my strategy on why you will not need to throw to your receivers all game, just your tight end. Um, go ahead and do this play again. Now this blitz is deadly against 
uh, a player like RG3 because most more than likely than not he'll try to run away from it and he'll get clobbered so right there you saw the quick blitz he had no choice but to throw a quick pass and they got nothing so that blitz will come right up the middle right up the a gap and they'll have no way to stop it now last week I did say to put everything down to zero and for some reason I did not know that it didn't work and it, it seemed like it had been working for me, but the only thing that really does work is the special teams. And they cannot punt at all, which is pretty funny. As you see, we got the ball right here. So we're already starting this off good. Now, what I would do personally is I would start running the clock down right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what play to do. Pretty much every play, single back ace. This is pretty much out of any playbook. And streak your two tight ends, which I have Brandon Banks and Mike Wallace. And then your two outside receivers. doesn't really matter what you do. I'll just put them in out routes. Right here, this is what you're going to do. Mike Wallace or Brandon Banks. You're going to hit them right up the seam. You're going to avoid the best players that they have. Oh, that didn't work. We'll just throw it to the outside receiver. See, that's exactly what I'm saying right there. Do not try to do that. If you're going to throw outside, stay away from D'Angelo Hall. Uh, sometimes the play that I'm trying to do will not actually work. And I thought that's pretty funny that that happened to me right there. Um, you want to throw it to your tight end up the seam just don't make a mistake like I did don't try to force anything else I was gonna run it first but I decided against it I saw my circle receiver coming open on the field but when even if he looks open um D'Angelo Hall will catch you so that's pretty stupid on my part by trying to do that but let me go ahead and try to get the ball back real quick um it's gonna keep Saul O blasting them which is my favorite play against the computer like I said <clears throat> you saw them run to the right and get clobbered by the way I thought that was funny uh this should be another run to the right and there's just nowhere to go for Marshall Falk. So they're down 14. Definitely a pass. And maybe we'll get to see another version of RG3 going down here. Another version. What the hell am I talking about? Another play with RG3 eating the dirt. Um, I've been doing this pretty much all day on farm names. And I just now realized that I did not record the video last night. And I screwed myself over. But now there it goes. Look at RG3. He had nowhere to go. He was running around in circles. And he makes a bad uh, decision by throwing it out out of bounds, basically. I should challenge that. I don't think he got that, but I don't know. He has to punt. Now we're going to show you the tight end streak play. So here we go. Go ahead and punt. Punt two yards. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now, like I said, don't make a bad decision like I did. If they somehow cover it, which it's more often than not they won't, uh, just run the ball with your QB or something. Um, single back A's, curl flats, streak, streak, and then put these guys on whatever you want. All right, here we go. Let's make sure you always pass lead. Look at that. Every single time it'll work. Just stay away from Rod Woodson as best as you can. I'm going to keep doing it over and over again to show you that it works. This is all I run. I mean, this may not give you guys, um... Any tips from maybe from what you do, what you like to do. But for people struggling, this is what I do. And it works like 90% of the time. Just go ahead and keep pass leading to the left. And you should be wide open pretty much every play. Um, for some reason, the computer just doesn't like to cover uh, inside streaks at the tight end. And definitely putting someone as fast as Mike Wallace. It just abuses that fact even more. And you're able to do that. So <clears throat> I guess what I'll do is I'll show you one more drive. And then I'll go ahead and finish off this commentary to get my all-time Titans gameplay up. And as you can see, my voice is pretty much back fully, but there's still little points in time where uh, it'll start, like, cracking because I'm still recovering from whatever the hell I had. It was just stupid. Uh, so, Salt will blast. This is most likely going to be a run play, so uh, hopefully they run to the right. And I'll try to catch up to it if it's still left with Freeney. Let's see if RG3 is about to eat the dirt here. Yeah, they're running to the left, probably. All right, so just bring your linebackers fast as over as you can. Oh, my goodness. Well, Marshall Falk just got destroyed. <clears throat> and then, of course, like I said, guys, uh, you, you're going to want to run the clock down as much as you can. So just right here. What the hell happened? Okay, here we go. Um, I just pick whatever play it gives me, whatever run it is, and then I'll just run the clock down. I'll just go up here, dive on the floor. And then keep spamming X. This is just to make it go as fast as you as fast as you uh, can possibly get it. Make sure you set the play clock remaining uh, to 10 seconds because that'll completely make it go as fast as possible. And uh, throughout the game, you'll notice how quickly it's going. The only problem is 
Uh, when it gets under under two minutes, then of course you can't run the clock now, which sucks. But that's when I take my opportunity to actually start scoring to make sure they can't come back off of complete bullshit. You know, like the computer likes to do to you. Um, like right here, I'll go ahead and do the tight end streak. And it's obviously going to work here because I have nobody there. Throw the streak up the seam and we get the catch. And then now we're really close <clears throat> to scoring. So I'll do my two point play that I love to do. Let's so make sure you go to strong slot. Make sure there's three receivers on the right side of the field or left side of the field. Uh, this can be in any playbook. Just find the right, um, the right design of the play, the right formation. Have three receivers. Always start with a slot guy, and then throw it up. Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. Just so make sure you fade them all, and then as soon as you get to play, as soon as you snap the ball, just hurry up and hold down your slot receivers button, and it's an easy touchdown. So that's pretty much all for this video uh, if this doesn't give you help at all I'm sorry um, but this is just what I do to win games it's really really simple um, most uh, most times if you're playing a really really hard team you're gonna wanna really really try as hard as you can to avoid throwing to their best players in the secondary when you do that tight end seam route and uh, when you're running the ball you always wanna cover up when you're trying to run clock down because if it's a 99 overall team that has this insane cards they will make you fumble and uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. So I'm going to end there. And I'm just going to start calling random plays because there's no chance it can come back. And I'm out of here, guys. Peace.